Hey, what is up, everyone? My name is Sagar Dasan. You guys watching Graphics HD. So, welcome back to another tutorial of this channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to create this uh, poster or this um, mobile wallpaper or whatever you want to say. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into this video. Before start this video, make sure that you hit the like button. That's motivate me to create more content like this one. And if you're new to the channel and want more content like this, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, let's jump into this video. So I'm going to use these two images that this stadium image and this render or this Mandukas image. Mandukas render or whatever you want to say. So does it matter? And so now select your crop tool and select this 16 to 9 ratio uh, and then hit this icon over here to change it 9 to 16 and then uh, crop it as much as you want there is no rule i think this is fine i think this uh, this is fine for my poster or my wallpaper as because i'm creating this for mobile so i'm just taking the 99 to 16 ratio now select your move tool and then hit ctrl t on a keyboard and resize it I'm leaving this render here and add a little bit rotation onto it to give more natural feeling or natural looks and then hit enter hit the enter button or click icon this icon over here and now take your stadium image and then drag into your mm, document or into your image now now select your layer 2 and drag underneath the layer 1 and then hit ctrl T on your keyboard again and resize it this or resize this layer and now we are going to add limit rotation onto it as well I think this is fine for me or this is fine for this image and then hit enter or add this icon over here and now this is way more desaturated image as you can see so i'm going to add a little bit greeny stone or or blue stone whatever you want to add so just go to this adjustment panel and then select hue and saturation and then drag the saturation channel up to like this to add more saturation this is not mandatory at any green or yellow it uh, depends on you so whatever you whatever tone or whatever color tone you want to add so i'm just on to add a little bit green as i said before so now i'm just select this green channel and then drag this lighter uh, to plus 40 uh, like this um, and then go to the cyan channel and then drag this lighter as well and as you can see there is little bit noise over here but you don't worry about it because we going to add blur so that is going to uh, help us to clear this noise so you don't need to worry about this and then i'm going to this i'm going to add a graph ad sorry curve adjustment layer just go to the and go just go to the adjustment panel and then select curve i'm just going to add a little bit contrast and bit faded effect by dragging this slider up i'm just going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and select a contrast slider and add a bit contrast and do the same for this brightness slider i think this is fine for me or this poster so now hit ctrl shift alt e on a keyboard to make a stamp visible there and now um, so select this layer or select your stamp visible layer and then right click on it and change this layer into a con smart object and now we're going to add a radial bar so just go to the filter and go 
go blur and add radial blur and select this blur method to zoom and then change the amount as much as you want and then drag this blur center and move it to over here I think this is too much so just double click on the radial blur and then reduce the amount as well so I'm just the 5 I think this is okay for so this is fine for me and now unhide your render or subject image and then go to the adjustment panel and then select brightness and contrast click this icon over here to make a clipping mask and change the brightness slider or drag this brightness slider to minus 40 or minus 50 like this one and do the same with the contrast slider and now go to the adjustment panel again and choose hue and saturation and again make it a clipping mask by clicking this icon over here and then and add a desaturation or desaturate it a little bit like this one and now again we are going to add a hue and saturation layer and again we are going to make a clipping mask uh, we don't we need I'm just going to uh, little highlight or this red portion of the flag so I'm just going to just change the mask slider to master to red and then drag the slider like this and I'm going to do the same with the blue tone or blue color so I'm just select this uh, channel to blue and change it like this and I'm just going to add the same thing with a cyan tone You can see the before and after before and after huge difference you can see and now I'm just going to add a, a curve adjustment layer and then select this icon over here to make it keep us again and then drag this point over here and move it upwards to add a bit faded effect and now select your render and then right click on it and change the blending option and then select the inner glow uh, then change the blend mode to overlay or soft light whatever you want to want uh, whatever you want to choose uh, now I'm just leaving it here to overlay and then change the opacity to 100% and change the color to white and set the choke value to 0 and size it doesn't matter it depends on you and now then hit ok uh, this help us to add a little bit brightness over the edges or lights over the edges um, as you can see uh, before and after and now just uh, select your layer 1 and right click on it and select create layer and then hit ok and this will create a uh, separate layer for our uh, inner glow like this as you can see so add a layer mask by hitting by clicking this icon over here and then paint black to delete some portion of white tone from this area and now this is a now select your layer one layer and all the adjustment layer for this and hit ctrl g on a keyboard to make a group uh, hide this layer hide this group for a moment and then as because light is coming from this angle so we're just going to paint white on these edges just like this and uh, these edges as well and i'm going to paint black on this part on this part to paint shadow so now just create a new layer and then select and select this layer and then right click on it and select create layer mask and then change the blend mode to overlay and select your brush tool and change the color foreground color to white 
and select a short brush and with hardness zero and then paint these parts and paint these parts like this you can see this is too much so we just need to reduce the intensity of this uh, light so just change the fill I think this is okay for me I think this is okay for me and now create an, another layer and right click on it and create another layer and right click on it and select create mask and change the paint mode to soft light and then change the foreground color to black and then change the flow to 180 percent and then just paint black just like this 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 and change the uh, and change the fill uh, to 50 percent and now uh, and now hit ctrl shift alt e on a keyboard to make a stamp visible there again and now just go to filter and select camera raw filter and change the temperature to minus 16 and exposure to uh, plus 0.40 add bit it contrast and you can add highlight too and now reduce the no sorry now you can add bit shadow and white if you want i think we don't need to add a white so just going to leave this value zero and reduce the black to minus 70 and change this the clarity to uh, min plus 12 and then i'm just going just select this adjustment brush or select or hit k on a keyboard and then then paint like this and here we just reduce the exposure bit and change the clarity to 5 and then select uh, this radial filter or hit J on a keyboard and and do like this I will change this mode to outside effect to outside and change the uh, exposure to minus uh, one or minus two just like this one two and now uh, change the contrast to minus 30 and highlight to minus 31 and now we just need only to change the shadow and change the saturation to minus 38 I think this is okay for me uh, so hit ok and just now announce go to the adjustment panel and select color lookup and select uh, futuristic black 3D dot cdl and change the fill to minus oh sorry fill to minus 70 uh, sorry sorry and so now change the fill to 90 or 80 percent and then select adjustment panel again and then go to the adjustment panel again and select uh, color balance and add a little bit red and blue tone on it and then hit ctrl shift e again to make a step visible layer and then now just go to the adjustment panel and select curve and select this point over here and drag over like this to create a bit faded effect and now just need to add a bit so now we just need to add a bit texture so i just going to add a dust texture or whatever texture you want to add but i'm just going to add a dust texture I'm going to add this texture over here from my original project 
resize it and change the blend mode to screen sorry screen and change the fill to 23 or 26 per person this is a chunky beat now I just need to add a text where, uh, so i'm just select this text and then drag over here i think this is it for today's video so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and if you want more content like this one then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you want more photoshop tutorial then don't forget to visit my other channel the link is in the description box below so till then bye bye i will see you in next video peace out